To me, Sojourn has always been about trying to find that special place that's hidden in some quiet corner of Italy. I've truly become relentless in my search for something new. And when I find it, there is no greater feeling in the world. The region of Abruzzo is only two hours outside of Rome. And not only is it mostly unknown to international travelers, but it's not very heavily traveled amongst Italians themselves. The place is resistant to change. And I love that. The silence out here is deafening. When I'm quiet, my ears ring. The region of Abruzzo offers everything I've been looking for, and I can't wait to show you what I found. Super hot today, but it's another beautiful day in the hills of Abruzzo. I'm visiting the town called Ofena, and in Ofena is a wonderful place that I'll be discovering for the first time called Agroturismo Sapore di Campania. <laughs> it's out here in the middle of olive trees. There is really nothing else to be said. Looking forward to seeing what this place is all about. Two sisters run the place. This is Sadinella. She's eager to tell me what her sister, also the head chef, has in store for me. I only wish I took video of everything I ate. I'm so excited for this meal. This place came highly, highly, highly recommended from my good friend Francesca. She owns a B&B in Navelli in Abruzzo. It's a small little town. And uh, her B&B is Abruzzo Segrito, which means uh, secret of Abruzzo. So this region is known for its food. It's known for its, especially its beans. It's Cheshire beans, chickpeas, for its different types of cheeses. Uh, so I'm hoping to sample some of that today in this agroturismo. Take you along with me on this, uh, on this food journey. <laughs> allora, pizza, prosciutto e fichi. Prego. Pancetta. Capocollo, salsiccia di carne, salsiccia di fegato, maiale nero. It's funny because places like this are really only known to the locals. They hardly have foreigners as visitors. It's not easy to find. It's here up in the hills in the middle of nowhere. When I come in and I ask for permission to video and I try to explain what I'm trying to do, they they seem confused at first, but then when they understand, they they get it and they're excited to be a part of it because of course, they look forward to sharing their food with the world. They're really looking forward to trying this. Oh. It's served on this huge leaf, look at that. Another one of my favorites, fried zucchini flour. I've never had it like this. Inside is a ricotta, mozzarella, and artichoke. I was just completely blown away by Sapore di Campania. I figured that after a meal like that, it's probably a good idea to go for a long walk. So I headed up north to one of Italy's most stunning national parks, Gran Sasso. I've never before been in a place like this. This is the highest I've ever been in the Apennine Mountains, the mountain chain that runs from the north to the south, almost directly in the center of Italy. Some friends behind me <laughs> help me find the way. Clouds above look threatening, so I'm wondering if we're gonna get some rain or a thunderstorm. That should make things interesting. It's beautiful up here. I'm up here now with the peaks, just showing themselves out of the tall grass. There is nothing but the sound of insects and wind and me. That's it. It's just amazing. 
This high plateau that is behind me has to do with the people of Abruzzo and um, a tradition that goes back thousands of years. During the summertime, the sheep would graze here and then they would slowly but surely make their way down in elevation to sea level in time for winter and they would end up in Apulia. All along the way they would be maintaining their sheep and their sheep would be uh, sustaining themselves by grazing in the meadows. The history of the people of Abruzzo kind of ends and begins here. My time exploring this unique, somewhat undiscovered region of Italy has left me hungry for more, and I can't wait to return. Hey, thanks for watching that video. I hope you really enjoyed it. I want to tell you more about what I've been up to with Sojourn. Today is a beautiful day. It's almost 60 degrees here in New York, which is rare for the dead of winter. So I thought I'd take you for a quick walk through my local park so I could tell you everything I've been up to. I can't get through to the water. Be careful, guys. So this is the largest working farm in all of New York City. It's a postage stamp. Still pretty cool. I wanna tell you a little bit more about what Sojourn has been up to. Since 2014, the idea that I had for Sojourn has really materialized and turned into something incredible. Relationships that I built with locals and the different regions that I visit, the guests have become like lifelong friends which is something that I'm grateful for and really wasn't even expecting. For this year, we're working on some new journeys and new places, new countries outside of Italy. Another thing I'm working on that I'm so excited to tell you about is what I'm calling Sojourn Photo Journeys. Photography and travel are linked. They're going to be a combination of incredible Sojourn-like cultural experiences along with photography workshops throughout the trip. We'll be teaming up with local professional photographers in each of the regions that we visit. For our first photo journey, we'll be traveling through the pristine lakes and unique mountains of the Dolomites in northern Italy. This is truly one of Europe's most photogenic locations. I'm so excited for this trip. If you're enjoying my videos and you want to see more of them, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, if there's a special place in Italy that you'd like for me to visit, please let me know in the comments. I'd like to see if I can add it to my agenda the next time I'm there. Thanks again for checking this out. It really means so much to me.